guys, Callie Fab here and today I am doing my update for my Bob series. I actually started this series called Beauties on a Budget and so far I suck. <laughs> I haven't really been focusing on not purchasing. I was just still making those impulse buys. And looking at my totals for the month of February really made me really look hard at my spending habits and things that I'm buying and looking at my collection and seeing what I have. I see the things in my collection, like my The Balm blushes that I have. I have, I'm looking at them right now. I have like nine balm blushes from, or blushes from the balm, you know. And all of those were made on impulse buys from Hotlook Look or the 50% off sale that they have like annually or semi-annually. And looking at some of the other things that I've purchased in my collection, they're things that have been on sale that I didn't really necessarily need or want. Looking at my purchases from this month of February, I actually feel like I did so much better with focusing on what I wanted, what I wanna review on my channel, and what will make me happy if I have it in my collection. And also looking at things that were also on sale too. So I'm gonna go through a few things that I purchased for the month and then tell you my totals. I purchased the Coach Perfume. That was my um, anniversary gift to myself, I guess. And then a few Essence products, nail polishes, um, the fixing spray, the primer, and then I also got a variety sampler with that as well. And then my next purchases were the Biobel My Diary of Beauty Secrets, which I bought two of them and I got one free. I finally figured it out. I got the NYC Zero Gravity Volume Powder, which I plan on trying out tomorrow. I haven't tried it out yet. I got the Tarte BB Tinted Moisturizer in Light Medium and the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, the um, hydrating one in Light Neutral. And I have tried both of those and I really am enjoying the BB Cream and I'm not quite set yet on the Shape Tape Foundation. So I plan on doing a review on those. I got the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, another variety sampler, and with that purchase, I actually got a 28-piece beauty bag sampler, but I put all those samples in my sample box to start using once I'm done with all the samples from this year, so that will come soon. And then I also got a Tarte Deluxe Lash Paint Mascara sample with my Tarte purchase. And then finally, my final purchases were my three beauty boxes. I get BoxyCharm. Sephora Play and Ipsy, and yeah, so all in all, all of my purchases, all beauty-related purchases for February in 2018 was $308.31. <sighs> well, it's a lot more than I thought it was going to be, and this is why I'm writing everything down, because I don't need all that. So I wanna go over my empties for the month. I already posted my empties video. I emptied the Suave Professional Dry Shampoo, the Aussie Total Miracle Conditioner, the Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Chamomile Deep Cleansing Cream, which I love, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, my candle, the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm, the Microlife Sleep Micro Mist, that was just that little teeny tiny sampler that I got. The Scripto Long Neck, Neck Lighter, Tums Smoothies, and my Gillette Disposable Razor. And with all my sample empties, the total comes out to $121.72 that I used up. So, I only did less than half this month of what I should have done. So I'm really not totally satisfied with that total. I'm actually pretty disappointed in myself and how much I spent on beauty products. But to be completely honest, I have used more than half of them. I actually have one of the Essence nail polishes on my nails right now. I just couldn't wait to use it. I was so excited and I love this color. Like how much fun is that for summer and spring? Ugh. I needed some new refreshing nail polish colors to get me motivated for, you know, painting my nails and enjoying some nail color. But all in all in this Bob series, what I'm really learning about myself is how 
apt I am to impulse buy. And that's a problem that I think that all of the beauty community has because, you know, beauty gurus will go out and say, oh my god, this is the best product ever, you have to try it, go and get it, you know, drop everything, get it right now. And that's just silly. Really though? For instance, like a new palette. How many palettes do you already have in your collection? Look at your collection and tell me, how many palettes do you have? I can't even tell you how many I have because I have more than I need, to be totally honest. And I really am focusing on what I really want to add to my collection. So, for instance, when I purchased the too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I knew that some of these colors in here were colors that I did not have in my collection at all. So this green color, I don't have anything like that in my collection. This pink color, I don't have. This purple color, I don't have. The neutral colors, I have all of those colors. But, you know, I really wanted to give this palette a shot, by the way. It smells super good. Anyways, but I really wanted to give this palette a shot and, you know, try something that I don't have the colors already in my, in my collection and I can't just, you know, go and find a one single shadow for that. Also, I really do like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar um, formulas and this was mostly metallic with four mattes in it, so I was so excited to try this one. And, you know, some of the purchases that I've made, I could have gone without them. For instance, these. I didn't need to buy three of these, but one of them I'm going to be giving to a friend of mine, one of them I'm keeping for myself, and one of them I'm putting in a giveaway. So I do feel like it was maybe not worth it to purchase it. The purchase price for two of those was still $53. So in the scheme of everything, that's still a lot of money. And you know, when talking about beauty budgeting, I really need to sit down and really think about, do I need this product? Do I want this product? And what's really motivating me is the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I know you guys have already seen that video. It's already up on my channel if you want to check it out. But that's really motivating me to really look at what I have in my collection. For instance, something that I know for sure that I want and I love is that Becca First Light Priming Filter. And that one just seems like the right product for me. I've been using it. I have two little samples. They're both almost gone. I'm just, you know, really realizing the products that work for me and the products that just don't. And I need to stop purchasing the products that just aren't useful for me in my collection or in my life or, you know, for any reason other than just to say that I have the product or to just, you know, put more money on my debit card that I don't need to be putting on there. Also, my husband and I, I ended up just on a whim purchasing a cruise for us in November. So what my plan is now is that every time that I go online or go in store or whatever and I go to make a beauty purchase, so whether it's something I have in my hand that I plan on checking out with that I don't check out or something I go online for and I put it in my cart and I go to check out and I don't check out, all of that money I'm going to actually withdraw it from my account as if I was actually spending it on those beauty products, writing the beauty products down that I didn't end up purchasing and putting that money in an envelope. And all that money in the envelope is either going to go towards fun on the cruise or Christmas shopping. So that is my plan and I think it's actually going to be really, really helpful and what I'm hoping is going to happen is that as the months go on, I'll be putting less and less and less money in there. As of right now, I need to put $60 in there because I almost signed up for Beyond Beautiful. It's a new beauty box or beauty subscription service. And I was going to buy a six month service for the $9.95 box and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm so proud of myself. I was really like, I literally had all my credit card information. All I had to do was push submit. And I just exited out of it. I was like, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't have any more boxes coming to my house. I can't have any more subscription services where I don't even use half the products or they get put in my sample bin. And I'm not using them until next year because I want to use all the samples that I have for this year. I just, I'm really thinking about my purchases lately. And I think you should too, because this is beauty's on a budget. I am on a budget. I have a family. I have a three person family. I work 
my husband works, you know, we work for our living. We don't just, you know, get family money. I can't just be a stay at home mom. I, that's just not in the cards for us. So we both have to work. And I think that spending my money on silly stuff, like things I don't need and things that I don't really want or things that are going to be put in my collection and never used is just not smart. And the more I'm doing this series and the more I'm really focusing in on my wants versus my needs, it really makes me take a double look at things and figuring out what I really want in my collection. So I know that was a super long rambly video for my update for my Bob series, but I really do like that it's making me think and it's making me have a secondary opinion about what I'm purchasing, why I'm purchasing it, how much have I purchased for the month, and how much am I actually using up because I didn't even use up half of the money that I spent. And my goal for this series was to use up more money than what I spend on beauty products. And so far, it's not going as good. <laughs> so I really wanna focus in and hone in on making sure I'm using up more than I'm spending, but more than that, just making sure I'm not spending money on useless products that I don't need, I don't want, I'm not gonna use. So, and then, you know, everything goes bad eventually too. So now I'm purchasing products, I'm not using them, they're going bad in my collection and they're getting thrown in the garbage. What good is that for me if I'm not using the products and they're going bad? That's nothing good for me, that's only good for the companies. And I don't wanna be that consumer that buys and buys and buys and doesn't actually use or enjoy the products that they're buying. So I am committing right now after the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and the things that I already said I might buy or am not going to buy, I'm going on a complete no buy. I'm not buying anything until the Sephora VIB sale because there are a few skincare things that I know I want, um, but I can wait until the 20% off because I can wait. <laughs> it's okay. But so I am committing to that right now. So all my Bob series, I will update you guys on my no buy after the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which ends in April. So I will have an update in the end of March for all my purchases for March. I am so sorry this was such a rambly Bob series update, but it's really important to me that I start getting my real opinion out and getting my real feelings out there and showing you guys that you don't have to just buy things just because, you know, Kathleen Lights or Tati or Jaclyn Hill or Nikki Tutorials is telling you to buy them. Don't buy them if you know they're not gonna work for you. And I'm guilty of it too. I've bought so many things that I've just seen them have and I'm like, oh, but wait, I have dry skin. Why did I buy something for oily skin? That makes no sense. I do have combination skin, by the way. I'm dry in the winter, oily in the summer, but we have more winter months here in Michigan than we do have summer months. So it's silly for me to buy oily skin products when I can only use them for three months out of the year. That's just, it makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, but anyways, I wanted to also mention that Rachel Winters here on YouTube is also doing this Bob series, so I will link her channel down below. And also Stacey Landreth from Instagram is also doing this Bob series on her Instagram feed, so I will post her Instagram account down below as well. And if anybody else wants to join in this and really get that consumerism, just like take a hold of it and just like throw it around, I don't know. I'm just getting really emotional right now because I did so bad. Anyways, but if anybody else wants to join in on this series, I would love for you guys to get in on this and start really honing in on your purchases and your spending habits and really trying to focus on making things better for you. Because it's never about you earning more money, it's about what you're doing with the money that you're earning. I've been really focusing on that and I hope you will as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.